hopefully you are having a wonderful week and also a wonderful day and evening. It's finally over in the evening. You know, the evening is always nice. You can sit here and actually hear the birds. They tell a lot about the earth, which is you know, it's the time to just settle down. You've done all the things that you need to do for the day, and now it's time to settle down. Relax your mind and think on something else. Now, usually I go and read a book or read an article from the computer. Sometimes I read health articles. Sometimes I, you know, dabble into some little sports. Um, but today uh, we're giving away $50 to someone and this person is going to use it for whatever they need to use it for and um, some of the people listed some books that they read and, or reading and I talked about the book that I was reading in the last video and also they uh, listed in a description box in the last contest video about how uh, they learned how to read. I learned how to read from my mom and I talked about that in the last video and right now we're going to go ahead and um, look at some of the comments that people put in the description box about how they learned how to read and also what book they're reading right now and then we're going to select the winner okay so that's what's going to happen and first I want to go before I do that I want to go ahead and tell you what numbers were entered into the contest the first number was 7 second number 45 third number 42 26, 47. So there were four, five people that were entered into the contest giveaway. And all they had to do was to list their number, the name of their book that they're reading, and the what, um, how they learned how to read. So we're going to read some of those comments. Takesha McFadden. Now you guys go check out our channel. She said, I am reading The Help by Katherine Stockard. Page 45. Mom and teachers taught me how to read. Oh, those wonderful teachers. Remember those teachers that sat down and actually learned you how to read? I remember uh, Miss Mary. Oh, she was a wonderful teacher. I didn't care what culture she was as long as she was teaching me how to read. I remember I didn't even really look at how she was look how she looked really. I didn't even care what was on the outside of her. I just learned from her. <laughs> you know, um I think when we're children, we 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 don't pay attention to a lot of things and I wish adults um, like myself <laughs> would. It seemed like we should um, be more, you know, not pay attention to what is on the outside so much, but what are we learning from that person? So that's what I uh, wanted to say on that. Okay, the second person, that'll be Natalie. Go check out her channel. She has a very good channel. I like um, watching her. I watch her quite a bit. Not that I don't watch Takesha, but Takesha just subscribed to me. So I really don't, uh, I'm really not uh, um, familiar with her videos yet. And thanks for subscribing, by the way. Uh, that'll be Natalie. She said, I'm reading Nine Fruits of the Spirit by Robert Strand. 
learned to read when I was a little girl, y'all. Elementary school, I'm sure. Number seven. Again, elementary school. <laughs> I remember that. And she read when she was a little girl. So, um, and she's reading Fruit of the Spirit. Now, Fruit of the Spirit, I'm sure it is about, you know, just that, Fruit of the Spirit. Having the Fruit of the Spirit, you must, you have to have that. And I'm sure that that sounds like a very good book. And I would love to know where you got that book. Um, so, email me and let me know where you got the book, girl. <laughs> okay. Sound like a religious book that I might be interested in. Anyway, LaNavia Red, she doesn't have a channel. Her number was 42. Uh, she said, my mom taught me how to read before I went to school. Also, the book I am reading is Blueford High. Okay. My mom taught me how to read too. That's what I was discussing in my other video. The other video, the part two uh, giveaway, $50 giveaway. Uh, I was talking about that. So, um, yeah, it was, it was, let's see. My mom, uh, I'm trying to figure out. Oh, she took me to the library a lot. And we just, she would read and I would read. And sometimes she would read to me in the library. And I think that's where it all started. <laughs> so me and you have something in common, Lenavia. Okay. 126 GMAC. She said, oh, go check out her channel. She has a channel. I read random article online, if that counts. Oh. Yeah, that counts. <laughs> she put in 126 as her, as her number. And we, you know, I said 1 through 70. And uh, she wrote back and said, hey, I meant 26. <laughs> so I put 26. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. I scratched out the 126 and put 26. So you're still in. Okay. Um... Yeah, I read articles online too. I, I usually read like health articles, you know, things about like um, my whole interest is um, how people become sick. Like, you know, I was talking about blood pressure in the other video. I don't know if you guys were tuning in to that. For you guys that are new, you can go back to that video. And I'll list it in the description box. But I've been looking around, trying to figure out why blood, you know, what is causing blood pressure. I look at a lot of articles on health. I, that's just, I like health. Um, I tried to be a nurse, but it didn't work out. Uh, I just didn't like it. You know, the hours and all that. I just thought I'm not into um, doing that. I just, I just don't like the, the... I don't like it. I don't know. I just don't like the hours. That's my whole thing is the hours. Um, health, to me, is something that you have to keep up with and read a, read about a lot, especially as a woman, because you're trying to keep your husband or your family healthy. So books on health um, is very important. They have, you know, those things in the library, but seem like the internet has more articles and different things that you wasn't thinking about before that is interesting. So I can understand, you know, you reading articles online. Um, books and articles is kind of the same. I mean, it's just a person, same thing. It's just a person decided to write uh, online and sometimes it comes in paper form too. It used to go become, you know, articles used to be, you know, it used to be like a paper, paper you know, paper, folded paper, and they put whatever uh, they want to write about. Um, 
But me, I'm always looking for a good health article. Something, you know, new about health. Um, or the news. Sometimes I'm reading the news. They don't have news. Some news articles are out now. You know, what people feel about the news. Like politics or whatever. I like reading that too. Sometimes. Not all the time. But uh, try to stay away from <laughs> politics. It just drives me crazy. But anyway. Uh, let's go to. And so that was good. And um, articles do count. So you're in. Keisha the Bay. I know I may be saying that wrong. It's T H E B A E. I'm sorry if I mispronounce your name. <laughs> um, she and Tula, she, she put in the description I am reading Because of Low. That's the name of the book by Abby Glines. Um, on, she's on page 47 and she said my mom taught me to read again so it's a lot of so you guys uh, some of you guys been taught by your mom and some of you guys been taught as a little girl in, in the elementary school and um, that was a good comments now we're gonna go ahead and select the winner um, I try to read uh, a lot to keep up with different things um, and I suggest that you know every once in a while pick up a book pick up an article pick up a newspaper read something I mean it, it expands your knowledge and it also helps you to it's, it's good for the brain they say um, but let's go ahead and select a winner now what I've done is I've put all your numbers in here and we're going to shake it around and we're going to select the winner now I know you can't wait can't wait I'm selecting okay I've selected a winner and now we're going to show who the winner is okay you ready? I'm ready 26. Now, if you're number 26, you go ahead and contact me by email sometime today. If I don't hear from you by, let's see, today is, oh my God, what's, what's oh, today is Tuesday. <laughs> this is terrible. Okay, today is Tuesday. <coughs> Goodness. Today is Tuesday. So, I'll give you two. Thursday. If I don't hear you hear by you hear from you by Thursday or sometime this week, then we will go ahead to the next contest, which I told you guys we'll have another one in July. Probably in the middle of July. Um I'm not gonna be and by the way, this week there won't be any more videos um for the next couple of weeks for the next uh, week or so I'm gonna be spending a little time with my family so you won't see any videos this will be like the last video and then I'll come back with the um, some more videos 26 you won and let me see who that is so you can know exactly who it was 26 is 126GMAC. Go ahead and uh, email me uh, and let me know what your address is. And or either if you want me to email you, I'll probably email you and give you my. Uh, let's do it that way. I'll email you and then you email me back and you guys have a great week and thank you so much for entering and stay tuned for the next fifty dollar giveaway bye